everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm gonna to be talking about sleeping bags. They're not just for camping. I think a really overlooked prep, especially when it comes to bugging in, is sleeping bags. You know, what we found with the Texas freeze and the South freeze in general, is that a lot of people were having trouble staying warm. Well, layering up is a really good way, but also if you don't have any way to produce heat, one way that you can stay warm is in a sleeping bag. You can just chill out in it, sleep in it, whatever. Now this is a lightweight sleeping bag. This is, only goes down to like 40 degrees but um, we use this like for the summers. We love this type of sleeping bag and it's super lightweight. Now we have a sleeping bag for every person in the household. We have lightweight sleeping bags. And then we have much larger sleeping bags. This goes down to 20 degrees. We have one of these each for the kids. Um, we use this recently and on a camping trip, they absolutely love it. You know, a lot of people think that brand really matters with sleeping bags, but this is an off brand. That one that I just showed was an off brand. And I say this because when it comes to sleeping bags, you really wanna look at one, reviews, and two, make sure that the rating is actually the rating that you want. If it says 20 degrees Fahrenheit, then that's what you want. Make sure it doesn't say 20 degrees Celsius. I've almost fallen for that once, um, but make sure that you're getting the Fahrenheit and Celsius correct. But if it says that this will keep you warm down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, then it should keep you warm down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great, you know? Um, that's generally the type of temperatures that we're looking at. 20 degrees is usually the lowest. And if it's gonna be, you know, in the teens, then we can um, layer up a little bit and then get inside, or we can put blankets inside to further insulate us, you know, and help the sleeping bag and whatever. So blankets are of course always good, but a sleeping bag, especially for bugging in, you know, you can sleep in your sleeping bag in your home, okay? And what's cool is that you can make it like a whole experience with your kids, you know, get out the tent, get the sleeping bags inside the tent, make it a whole thing, you know, make it fun. But, um, you know, sleeping bags are a really quick way for you guys to sleep comfortably as even bugging in, you know, if you don't have any way to produce that heat or even if you do, but you just want to sleep in the sleeping bags because it's better than, you know, using the propane or, or whatever, right? You know, having your buddy heater on all night or something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, so use the sleeping bags. You can use it in tandem with your, your heating source. Just kind of depends on you and your needs or, or whatever. But having a sleeping bag, not just for camping. We also have sleeping bags, <laughs> the big mother. Uh, these are zero degree bags and these are actually, um, a brand, uh, a name brand. This is a uh, Teton. Um, and we got this years and years and years ago, um, like over 10 years ago, and they're still going strong. These are zero degree bags. They are so warm, so comfortable. We can actually zip this sleeping bag with, um, my husband and I both have one of these. We can sleep, we can zip these sleeping bags together. You can make it as a blanket, but of course it works as best as a sleeping bag. But, um, these zero to grab bags are great. These are gonna be a little bit more expensive than like the 20 degree bags or obviously the 40 degree bags, you know? But I really think that families, individuals, people in general should invest in sleeping bags, whether you camp or not. It has nothing to do with camping. It has everything to do with warmth, okay? Sleeping bags are designed to keep you warm in adverse conditions. So, so having a sleeping bag available in your house, along with a few blankets, you know, that maybe you can, you know, help with insulation or whatever. Um, you know, if it gets like super cold, maybe you have a 40 degree bag and you want to put some blankets inside, whatever, right? Um, it works. I actually did that um, with another sleep, with my summer sleeping bag. It was getting a little colder. So I put some blankets inside and I was super nice and toasty. So, you know, the sleeping bag can definitely help um, along with some other insulation methods. But I believe these bags were about um, 40 or $50. This is by Farland. There's a bunch of brands like this. Again, I don't think that brands really particularly matter with a sleeping bag. A lot of people think that it does. Personally, I have not experienced that. This is an off brand. My summer one is an off brand and they've both been amazing. Not only do they keep us, you know, warm to their designated, you know, limits, 
but they've lasted. I mean, I've had that summer one for years, and then the kids have used this pretty aggressively <laughs> um, on a recent camping trip, and, um, you know, it, it'll definitely last. Um, but uh, look at the reviews, look at the ratings of the what the sleeping bag goes down to and all that, um, and just find something that's gonna work for you, your situation, and your area for bugging in as well as bugging out purposes. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.